Welcome to RK Tutorial Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by 5th edition Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7, problem number 2.110. Referring to the figure, the coefficient of friction is as follows 0.25 at the floor, so here it is 0.25, 0.3 at the wall, so here it is 0.3, and 0.2 between the blocks. So between the blocks, here the friction force is coefficient of friction is. Point Find the minimum value of horizontal force P applied to the lower block that will hold the system in equilibrium. So how much force we need to apply in to this block so that the total system is under equilibrium. So let us draw the free body diagrams for both uh, this weight and this weight. First let us draw the free body diagram for this weight. Now the various forces clearly we can see. So the self weight may be one force. And here there is a normal reaction and hence there is a it, since it is a rough surface there must be a frictional force that the possibility by virtue of its weight the two to this weight will move downwards direction hence the frictional force may act in the upward direction and also there is a contact here so this contact will give an another normal reaction and here also there is a friction since the surface is moving downwards, the frictional force may act in the upward. So these are the five forces that are acting on the weight 3 to 5. Look at this, the various forces. Now, as I mentioned, the weight is, the first one is the self weight. Next one is the normal reaction N1. Next, the frictional force mu1 into N1. Next, another normal reaction because there is a contact here. Another normal reaction, let us say it is N2. And the frictional force, it is mu1 into N3. Now, Given that this is 60 degrees, hence this angle must be equal to 60 degrees. So this must make an angle 60 degrees with the vertical and this force because parallel to the parallel to the surface. So this will make an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Now let us transfer all those forces onto separate XY plane. Now we can find the self weight 3 to 5 Newtons, the normal react reaction N1, then the frictional force 0.3 into N1 because here the coefficient of friction is 0.3. Next one is N3, which makes an angle 60 degrees with the vertical. And then the frictional force 0.2 into N3 because between the walls, between the walls, the frictional force is 0.2. So it is 0.2 N3. Now we know very well the angles made by this N3 with the vertical is equal to 60 degrees and the 0.2 N3 makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Let us resolve all the forces along x axis and y axis. Of course, 3 to 5, N1, 0.3 N1. All these three forces are acting along x and y axis, hence you need not to resolve. So, these three forces you need not to resolve. Now, we need to resolve the force N3 and 0.2 N3. So 0.2 N3 makes an angle 60 with the horizontal. Hence horizontal component is 0.2 N3 cos 60 and the vertical component is 0.2 N3 sin 60. N3 makes an angle 60 with the vertical. Hence the vertical component is N3 cos 60 and horizontal component is N3 sin 60. Let us apply the equilibrium equations. First sigma fx is equal to 0. I will consider this is my positive direction and this is my positive direction for x and y axis. So by considering sigma fx is equal to 0, n3 sin 60 is equal to n1 plus 0.2 n3 cos 60. You can simplify because I know the values of sin 60 and cos 60 values are known. So you can simplify. Hence I will get n1 is equal to 0.866 n3 minus 0.1 n3 or you can say n1 is equal to 0.766 n3. Similarly sigma fy is equal to 0. There are four forces. Three forces are acting in the upward direction and those three forces you can say 0.3 n1 plus 0.2 n3 sin 60 plus n3 cos 60, all three forces acting in the upward direction, hence it is positive, but this weight is acting downwards direction, hence it is minus, minus 3 to 5 is equal to 0. So you can simplify here, because you know all these values, uh, you know trigonometry functions, so you know all these values, and after simplification, you will get n3 is equal to 2464 newtons. Now let us draw the free body diagram for the second. Now tell me what are the forces acting on this 4450. The first one is the self weight. Next one is the applied force. There is a normal reaction. And since we are pushing in this direction, 
there is may be a frictional force in the opposite direction and hence and also there is a normal reaction and the frictional force acts in the downward direction because on 2225 we are assuming it is upwards on 4450 it must be downwards and here we are assuming that this normal reaction is n3 the same n3 must act on 4450 okay now i am transferring all the forces the first one is 4450 next one is 0.25 n2 and the force P, this is also acting along X axis and along Y axis, it is N2 and then uh, it is N3 and then mu3 N3, but we given that mu3 is equal to 0.2. So it is 0.2 N3. N3 value we already calculated from previous free body diagram. We calculated N3 value. So, and we know this angle is equal to 60 degrees and this angle is also equals to 60 degrees. Now we will try to resolve this point N3 and N3 along X and Y axis. So it is 4450 and that is N2 and that is 0.25 N2 and that is P. And now that uh, N3 I resolved since it makes an angle 60 with the vertical. So vertical component is N3 cos 60, horizontal component is N3 sin 60. And then point 0.2 N3 which makes an angle 60 with the horizontal hence the horizontal component is point 0.2 N3 cos 60 and the vertical component is point 0.2 N3 sin 60. Now I will apply sigma fx is equal to 0. I will substitute three forces are acting positive direction. One force is acting in the negative direction hence P plus point 0.25 N2 plus point 0.2 N3 cos 60 minus N3 sin 60 is equal to 0. And you can substitute N3 is equal to 2464 from the previous free body diagram. After simplification, you will get one equation P plus 0.25 N2 is equal to 1887.4. Similarly, sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are three forces acting in the downward direction. One force is acting in the upward direction. Hence, N2 minus all these three forces are negative. 0 0.2 N3 sin 60 minus N3 cos 60 minus 4450. But we know N3 is equal to T464, you can substitute and after simplification, you will get N2 is equal to 6108.77 Newtons. Now you substitute this in equation 3. So after substituting this, so you will get point P plus 0.25 into 6108.77 is equal to 188.42. This is from equation 3. Hence, I can find the only unknown that is the minimum force that is required to maintain the equilibrium that is 360.22 Newtons. It is the answer for the given problem.